He is part of the greatest generation, one of the D-Day heroes in the Normandy landings during World War II. Now a health battle prompted a decorated veteran to return to Utah Beach, perhaps for the final time. It's a story inspiring Indiana. They are the heroes who stormed the beaches of Normandy on June 6, 1944. I can remember it vividly. Carver McGriff was a 19-year-old from Indiana. My job was to be on a machine gun. We were surrounded by the enemy. He was wounded and captured by the Germans as a prisoner of war. Well, I was wounded in both legs with artillery and in one arm, so I couldn't walk. McGriff was rescued by American troops and received a number of medals and honors for his military service. This year, McGriff has been involved in a different battle, terminal cancer. He's had surgeries, but now at the age of 96, McGriff has decided no more treatment. And I said, no, whatever's left, I'll enjoy it, but I'm not gonna go through radiation. When Carver learned he had terminal cancer, he put together a bucket list. He wanted to spend time with family and friends and travel to places that meant a lot to him. One of the first places on his bucket list was Utah Beach. Carver McGriff and his wife Marianne. In June, Carver returned to France for several D-Day ceremonies in a trip Senator Todd Young helped facilitate. Carver has been back to the beachhead in France a dozen times since the Allied invasion 77 years ago. And that was a place that was uh, important to me because of what I learned about myself, uh, of what I saw of the suffering that took place there. McGriff details his experience in the book Making Sense of Normandy. He says his attitude has changed since D-Day. We were told when we got off the boat, if you see anybody wearing a, a uniform like theirs, kill them. I know that the Germans had an element there that's hard to understand who brought about the Holocaust. And those people I hate to this day, but so do the German people. McGriff told me his heart has softened toward Germans. And I thought, I can either hate them for what I saw or forgive them. And I forgave them. Forgiveness is an important part of his Christian faith and more than two decades that he spent as an Indianapolis pastor. Even though doctors have given him less than a year to live, this decorated veteran who fought for his country is now at peace. And the family says that Senator Todd Young played a pivotal role in getting that family there for that final visit there in June. So, so a shout important. out to the uh, senator's office. I'm so glad he was able to do that, yep. especially with all the COVID precautions. Sure. It meant and so much to him to go back. Oh, Mr. McGriff, we thank you yes, for we do. your service. You bet.